Here we fucking go. Okay. Uh, let me just get the chat up. Please do not spoil this for me. Okay, uh, laptop. Okay. Uh, let's change the title of the stream. Yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be eating Halloween candy throughout all this. Uh, if you hear plastic and all that, I'm eating food. Okay. Let's get this title change. Please, no spoilers. I, I can't stress that enough. Let's get this title change. Please, no spoilers. I, I can't stress that enough. Let's get, get some hype in the change. chat for Flash Mothers, my guys. Please, no spoilers. Okay. I, I can't stress Uh, that. we should be good to go. Gonna... He was here. Okay. Not even the bots are here. That's weird. I'm just gonna wait for people to file in. See how many viewers I can get. All right, screw it. We're just gonna uh, go reactions now, cause this is going on YouTube anyway. So, for all you watching on YouTube, uh, enjoy or something like that. Okay, let's go. Graphics are so good. Oh my god. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. And Gorgeous this man. This is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Final. Okay. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as three. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the, the game. Final fighters. Okay, let's do this. Game title. Fighter? Okay. I heard fake rumors about Piranha Play. Another that character? Or punch out? Oh, that looks like Ken? Bring it on! Oh! Ken! I freaking knew it! Dude! I knew this was gonna happen. He was like the most likely to get into Smash. Wait. Ken was in the leak? 
the other fires in the league. That's cool. Oh my god. This is so awesome. That's right. Yeah. Okay, we're guys. Fire? Fire? Incineroar? That's Incineroar. Boy! So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? <laughs> oh my god! That is so cool! Everyone's been waiting for this one to happen. That is, that is the oh. Now that's a lot of damage. Like a freaking bird. <laughs> oh crap! I have to fight a kid and not face charges for child abuse. That's not where he was in the least. I want this mural. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Finally! In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. Pretty but let's much. get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku strikes opponents multiple times. Yeah, for the two hell people I can pronounce that move. Focus Wait, attack. they can call it a Hell Wheel? We've included lots of Ken's signature uh, moves, such as his famous kicks, symmetry? which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Okay, that's cool. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jin Raigek. Alright! A lot better than the Shinku, uh... Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. Last? It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro okay, wrestler, like when one of its attacks is successful, character. it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral Fine. special is called Darkest Lariat. That's it what was Incineroar's signature was. move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. Okay, that's pretty dope. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. <laughs> Oof! For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes Whoa, after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Oh, that's so cool. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. So it's a counter. That's Incineroar's idea of a counter attack. Yeah, okay. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. Okay, so it is a Z It's move. even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. Oh. Okay, then. Our roster's been revealed. Though. We yeah. finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. Ah. This is the initial fighter select screen. Oh, what there variety. There aren't very many at first, Yo. but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. That screen And once so you've cool. unlocked them all... Oh. 
it'll look like this. Wait, there's still room it for two more! It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they joined the series. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. Oh my god! I'm in- Okay, we already saw that one, I think. I think we saw that at E3. Saw that one at E3, definitely. Looks so cool. I think that one's up for pre-order. I think Amazon leaked that one. Oh! Okay! Ugh, amiibo hunters are back you at it! You recall that we're creating amiibo in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. Oh no, the two are getting waves again! Oh, this cannot go well. You guys know how amiibo hunting is. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. What?! Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. What?! That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart. I and we want trophies. to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. Isn't that why we have assist trophies? Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. <gasps> SPIRITS MODE! And I don't mean the spooky kind. Right, it was just Halloween. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Okay. Got Chibi Robo. In the Super Smash Bros. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they're Map fighters in the world of imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of wildly oh, different the guy spirits. That Judd from Splatoon. That's kind of funny. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces. And some are in a league of their own. Legend. What does that mean? Primary spirits? Okay, what? One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. This work like a primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. Oh, so it's just equipable. In some cases, this these so augmented fighters items? become extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Ah, oh, pseudo paladin. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. But trophies were so cool. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you like want the to premise battle. from Brawl. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny Spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. Why give it a trophies? I get they're hard to develop, but they were so cool to collect. I thought Ridley was huge. Who 
ね。I saw it. This Sonic in half. Who the hell is that? Okay, so this is kind of like subspace with all the rocks. Bullet Billiam Shakespeare. Whoa! That was pretty epic. Whoa! The what puppet the hell? fighter to acquire the spirit within. Spirit within. Power within. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Oh, that's weird. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. It's important to pick a spirit that Type has advantage. an advantage Ugh, over your We opponent. get it! Pokemon is a thing! When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. Raise your spirits. Yeah, okay. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. Nationwide, I mean, spirits are on your side. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Oh. Or you can feed it snacks. Trainable AI. Well, not AI. Some spirits Trainable even snap. have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. Whoa. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you what? do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And, by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. So summoning is kind of like Fire Emblem. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Or, send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. What kind of treasure can Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Oh, okay, so amiibos are kind of connected. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series, but just how many would you guess there are? 900? Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. I'm assuming spirits can't be used in online play. Another way to put it, Whoa, the spirit everything system is on fire. lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. So, like, local? Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. 
or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo experience. Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. That's what the censored icon was. What do you know what that was? There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Rules. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Okay. But is the air not gonna stop Global smash though? power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious four. opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Four Fighters you the haven't bottom. used yet will be assigned DLC? a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected, so please don't do that. Well, that's gonna suck to detect. What if As you with just any multiplayer game, game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances Finally! between players. Finally! So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. It's about time! As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. Why don't you a make wired land not cable suck. is recommended. I'm sorry, I'm being We've open. prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Elite! Once your My global 13, smash power is high enough, brethren. you can enter elite battles. Yes, when you reach this fine. level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Okay, that's... Good. Everyone who plays online needs their own oh, That's my power. name! Change it back to if green. you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. Tag? But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. Why? What do they do? You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Okay. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle fighter to begin. Fighter Fox only final destination. Battle Not every mode okay. will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Finally! This is a Maybe good you can thing. pick up some good tips that way. I'm waiting on that. Form okay, a two-player team new. and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the Everyone same Everyone wants setup. to collab! When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. There's Mike again. Here, there are spots where Apparently you can join the Samus. battle, wait in line, or even spectate. Benches. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. A phone? Oh, a Nintendo phone? Oh. With the Nintendo Switch Online app, the you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may Wait, be an essential what? tool for Did I just players. see Toad? We are also developing Did I? a free service. For I'm Super not going Smash crazy, Brothers I just Ultimate, saw Toad. And we're naming it Smash World. 
Instead of focusing on stats about like Smash win -loss records, or allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more, once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your yeah, heart's We content. already have that. It's called YouTube. And or Twitch. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about oh, the Shadow Sea confirmed. That support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? Uh, uh, who is that? Etika's gonna be all over this. Fatal Frank. That wow, looks very cryptic. That was weird. What? No! Isaac's deep in front of the end of the leak is fake. Uh, wishful thinking. Here I go. Black Knight. Was he in the last game? Oh, that was someone else. This is no, you're a fire. Nice. I was thinking of the whole A womp. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> You troll! That's funny. Ah, oh, Spring Man. But the two people that actually played arms. Okay, that looks kind of I like the old I like the old <laughs> Oh, from uh, Mario Paint. That's nice. This might be a Oh, that's badass. Holy crap! Oh, Articat. Uh, I think he's also from Street Fight. Yeah. Blast kick. Blast kick. That was nothing. <laughs> oh, he's in all the blocky glory. Virtual fighter. That compensation for the meat costume treatment. The Switch total number of assist trophies is now 59. Oh, 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon. That's uh, the Rathalos. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. If you Nobody want to uses the that! Or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Nobody's ever used that. Century Smash. Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen. Oh, I love it? to smash. You can play on many different stages, and you can choose the music too. Hey, music! I love me the music. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All Star mode, but now you can play it right out of the box. But that defeats the, the point of All Star. Will appear endlessly. You can save the replay data of your battles, hey, that's and cool. now you can create videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Well, like, I don't think when anybody ever them, used those. You can those. sort by category or fighter. Shut down in four. Complete challenges oh, to challenges. earn rewards. I like challenges. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy. Okay, that's cool. Records. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. 
You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. But why would you? What can you buy with the gold? Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. Oh. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. That's cool. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different oh. in several languages. So I got all the different voice actors. The fighter names are also cool. specific to each language. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Cool. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. But don't make them. We've implemented them. a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Yes. Oh my God. While I do not want to. to wireless and online play. You can make your teammates semi-transparent, so you don't get distracted. What do you mean, distracted? Custom balance. What? If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When that... custom balance is adjusted, what? a symbol will be displayed. Of course, that this feature is not available like during wireless matches. and online battles. You can customize your Mii Fighters and change their outfits. Oh, well that's why the Toad In addition was. to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. I'm assuming we can buy the outfits? Speaking of Mii Fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Oh. What sad soul's got the Mii Fighter costume treatment this time? Okay. Cool, I guess. Oh god. Interesting. Oh god. Ray Mark II. What's that even from? Oh. Oh, what? Boy comes. Product placement much? Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. I knew it! But there are even more coming post-launch. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more The characters from the leaks, they could be in! Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. <gasps> no nice. I'm talking about Echo Fighters. That's awesome. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. Okay. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. I'm broke, but like, cool. At the same time, Fire. we will offer the fighters pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. We have five When creating fighters something like confirmed. the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. Uh. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it.
Nah, I'm still gonna buy Again, it. Again, the price is twenty four ninety nine for all five sets. Now that's a lot of now money. Now that we finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. Wait, what? I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. Please By the take way, a break. Here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. Uh. It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. He would have had a chance! This outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music Aww. from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Damn. Give it a listen at Gaara Plane sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. Just don't strain yourself. It may take around a year or so to finish help? releasing all the a DLC. A year! Oh, but, on a separate note... We're currently developing something. I like what this game. Something you'll free. get for free as a limited free? time. Free?! If you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Show me! I get a free Luigi! Or what? Not like a drunk after party? I don't know. Oh, he looks mad! What? No freaking way! There is no way! What? What? Why? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! Okay, Mario 2 stage, I appreciate that, but what? What? BD Piranha from a uh, bro. What? That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Why? This trophy, but as an actual fighter. Why it can though? Poison, fire off spiky balls. What? And perform long range attacks. I'm going this hysterical. Why? Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. This is so For the weird. physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre ordering. I mean, I will, We're but also like... creating an amiibo. It has a nice I... curved form to it. I'm so confused! Why? Later today, you'll be able to pre purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop e or Nintendo.com okay, like... before you forget. <laughs> you have me at a loss for words. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Oh, that's me! On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where okay. it will show up next, and more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... Oh! Huh? I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform we into spirits? We actually kind of a story mode. I'll show you how it all begins, and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. What?
don't let a single one get away. Fox murdered everybody. Oh, what? Wait. Who is that? That's multiple master hands. We'll each need to take down about ten. Why is he? your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. What? Why was Mort speaking English? Go, Kirby, go! What is that day when the sky fell away? Our world came to an end. In our eyes, did a fading sunrise in the dark, glimmering shadows. Silence grows in the spaces between, stretching out beyond time. Rising up as a chorus of souls finds a voice, flickering through the void. I want that, so just stop that. Oh, he's a uh, guy from Burma. Who was that? World of Light? That it? You know how, like, at the end of Infinity War, after all the stuff was said and done, that everyone just walked out of the theater, just completely silent and confused? That's how I feel right now. I... 
so many things I don't understand. What? <sighs> Part of me wants to make a discussion video on this. I kind of want to go on with, like, the Game Explain guys. Wouldn't that be cool? Like... I'm confused. I don't know about you guys. There we go. I'm gonna cry. That was... Dude, my friends were telling me, like, this thing is gonna be boring. Don't even watch it, but, like, I liked it. It's just... Okay, well, let's... Uh, okay, I want to go back into the video for a second. Uh, right about... There. Right there. What the hell is that? Those are obviously Taboo's wings, right? Th that looks like Taboo's wings. Our imagination, but like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm completely clueless. Okay. Just go down what we actually saw. So I saw Ken's in Smash, Incineroar's in Smash. Piranha Plant is like a fighter, a limited time fighter if you pre-order the game. And DLC, we're getting five fighters from DLC. And then Spirits Mode thing spirits boost your fighters like those items in smash 4 there are no more trophies venture mode is connected to spirits storyline that literally nobody knows about i wish i could say more but i i have nothing i'm completely lost <sighs> okay uh, here's hoping I can get an Elgato HD60S so I could stream this. If I could somehow get my hands on one, I will stream this game. I absolutely will. Uh, wow. This, this is incredible. This is one hell of a game. been interesting if the leaks were actually real. Wow. That's just, that's how they ended. They went out with a bang right there. Wait a minute. There were two Nintendo Directs confirmed for November. It's a Smash Direct. You got something in the other Direct? Uh, hmm. Jesus, I I want to make a discussion video. So if I can find some friends, I'll try to do that. Um, yes, stay tuned on my channel for more content. I got no other words. This image right here, make of it what you will. Your guess is as good as mine.